Yo, what's cracking, guys? You read that title correctly. Uh, Gino finds out about Jasmine's butt implants. She didn't walk in the door and him just go, God damn, where the hell all that ass come from? You sit on seats with that ass? Jesus. The first frame of this is uh, them getting naked massages. If you're wondering why they would even make a clip about this is because he gave her money for a wedding dress and she's like, I need a Brazilian butt lift. Actually, they're butt implants. People were correcting me that it's not a BBL, even though she was calling it a BBL. I can't wait to see what he says. What? All of that ass? How am I going to get past that? I don't watch these before I talk shit about them, obviously. And hopefully by next week, we'll be starting live streaming reactions soon. So you guys could just send me links to clips you want me to talk shit about. And I will also post regular content. Like I'll just edit down the live streams to an episode just like this. Twitch and YouTube allow you to stream on both of them now, so I'm going to try and do that. But I would prioritize doing YouTube live streams, because to me, Twitch is more for, like, gaming and shit, and it's harder to grow. And I want to talk with you guys, you know? The live streams would probably start, I, I want to start them at, like, 1 p.m. Uh, I'm in Chicago, so 1 p.m. my time. Around then, we'll give it a test. I'll try and bring the equipment back soon. Just got to get my camera and mic set up. But yeah, let's talk shit about these human beings. <laughs> What happened? <gasps> nice. Oh, no, not in the ass. <laughs> no, not in the ass. Um. <laughs> Do you think he's getting triggered right now? Just hearing not in the ass? He's like, she always tells me that. Oh, speaking of not in the ass, some real quick wine box poppy lore. The motorcycle I was talking about yesterday in yesterday's video, that video was supposed to come out Thursday. So I traded my bike because it was having some problems and I got this one. Oh, four Jixer 750. Let's fucking go. Okay, back to this. Sorry, it hurts. Uh, it hurts. Why does your ass hurt? Is it from sitting in the plane? Yeah, yep. Absolutely, yep. That's, mm hmm I don't know, Gino, does your ass hurt? Probably does, to be honest. What do you mean? What, what? Talking about your ass. That's such a weird thing to do. I don't know if they're married or whatever, but uh, it's such a weird thing to do is to hide that from your fiance or husband. You know, the person who's going to enjoy it the most. See, if I was him and she goes, my ass hurts, and then I ask why and she's silent, I'm like, did you just get piped in the butt? Please tell me it's a BBL. When they're trying to massage it. Because it hurts. It hurts. Why? Okay, I should bring the news to you now that you look so relaxed and in a good mood. Yeah, that's the best time to bring up something you didn't want to tell somebody when they're in a good mood. So you can ruin it. Baby, what news? Promise you're not gonna get mad at me, please. Here's a little tip for the ladies. When you say promise that you're not gonna get mad at me, they already are. Once that sentence is said, they're like, oh, worst case scenario. I'm pissed. What did you do? Anal. Baby, you remember a few months ago, I told you that I have lost so much weight. Yeah, why are you blurring out the side boob? Side boob is so good. Sorry. And I got so skinny that I lost muscle and my ass got very flat. <laughs> it got very flat. <laughs> Squat. Start squatting. Mm-hmm. And that I wanted to get butt implants and you were like, no, don't spend money on that. Right. Right. Do you not get what she's getting at? He's like, this isn't adding up. What? So what's wrong with your buttocks? Guess what? <laughs> no. That's a weird response. Most guys would go, yes. Fuck yes. My wife still wants to be sexy to me. She hasn't just given up yet. This guy sucks. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. Look. I want to see. Why would you blur out a butt? Why? I'm not even a butt guy. I'm just supremely curious. I even have the still the like the marks here. This could have been such a good episode. Thumbnail. How could you do something like that? This is crazy. This might be the only guy on earth 
whose reaction to his significant other getting a BBL would be this. Jesus Christ. Hey, buddy, how about you smack it real quick after she's done recovering to see if you're mad or not? Once you see her walking away and that shit jiggling, you're not going to be pissed. I could see him being like, well, take out the implants. Oh, that's it. Just a very angry look. It looks like he wants to kill her. He looks like disgusted. She's got fake tits, dog. You think those are real? I don't have a problem with butt implants or butt lifts. I've never touched one to my knowledge. But I guess his only problem with it would be money. But she used the money that he was already going to spend. Like, I, I know he wanted to spend it on a wedding dress for her. But no guy cares about the wedding dress. Every guy would rather their girl get butt lifts than a wedding dress. This guy's an anomaly. You want to be more attractive to men? You are a whore. Like, Doug, your girl just got a butt lift. You're like the only person who's not happy about it. These guys on these TLC shows are a different fucking breed, dude. These weirdo guys who are getting girls that they should not be getting. Like, I don't believe in leagues and shit like that. But this, these just don't work out. Like, Jovi and Yara... Jasmine and Gino. I'm very impressed. I remembered four names right there. But it's like, what is with these women dating these beta cocks? Oh, green card. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's a pretty good incentive. Comment down below what you guys think. Is Gino gay? Yes or absolutely? Sorry, this had to be a shorter video. I do have an open mic that I run every Tuesday in Villa Park, Illinois at Josephine's Martini Bar. Live podcast at 7, open mic at 8 every Tuesday. Come say hi. But thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere, guys. I appreciate you so fucking much. Yo, if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel, I actually have a Patreon on patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. I want to start doing like posting the videos a day early onto Patreon if you want to see them earlier. So I'm going to try and have the first uh, early Patreon one come out Sunday. And also hopefully just coming out with other Patreon content. Just creative stuff that I feel like doing. Maybe some moto vlogs. Some vlogs, some podcasts, some Q&As, you know. Shit that I feel like uh, wouldn't do really well on YouTube. That's the best way to directly support because YouTube fucking hates swears. Like almost every video, no, literally every video gets instantly demonetized. All of them. I have never once had a video go live that was instantly monetized. If it's monetized at a later date, that's because I fought it and it slipped by somehow. So to avoid taking out swears on YouTube, because I don't want to not be myself. I think swears are good, are great words, to be honest with you. They really help with conveying emotion and just making a better point. And that's how normal people talk. So to avoid reducing swears or taking them out, I'm just going to go a little bit harder on Patreon and provide more content over there. While keeping the same amount of content going on this channel, of course. So like I said, if I've ever made you laugh and you want to help support this channel and fight back against YouTube's cute little swear policy, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. But if you can't or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.